News 46, local coverage you can count on. This is Ken. He's wondering how his neighbor has so much time on his hands. Ken has spent the entire day trying to find the easiest way to heat his water and save money. You don't have to go through all that trouble to save money. I'm Tom, general contractor for Valley Electric Solar Water Heating Program. Here's what you need to know. I'll visit your home free. There's zero down payment and zero percent interest. Manufactured homes qualify too. Your solar water heating system literally pays for itself, saving hundreds off your electric bill annually. And you'll receive 30% of the purchase back on your taxes the first year your system is installed. Tom, help me get mine. Where's yours? I'm here with Larry Bai from the Lions Club. We're at Prompt Valley Auto Plaza in their showroom right here. What are we doing today? This is the uh, ninth annual kickoff for Letters to Santa. And this morning we're letting the kids have a chance to have breakfast with Santa. Up to 12 years old, the kids are free. They come in, talk to Santa, bring them their letters and get some pictures taken because a lot of the kids want to get pictures with Santa for mommy and daddy to remember. And, of course, the Letters to Santa program is wonderful. I know we used to do this for Pahrumpa Pum Pum. Well, that's how it initially got started. Actually, uh, this is something that I was involved with when I lived in California. And nine years ago, we kind of did a variation of it out here. The difference being is here we also try to provide one of the gifts that the kids ask for in their letters. And that's what the Lions Club does so well. These kids are coming up to Santa and giving their, their letters. And they can also ma mail them to the P.O. box here that's been set up for years at our local post office. That's right. Uh, they can address it to Santa, the North Pole, Mr. or Mrs. Claus. Any way that it's identifiable, the post office will make sure it gets into P.O. box 133. They can also drop it off at the post office. The uh, postal employees have built a large uh, mailbox out front, and they have a banner they drape it with that says Letters to Santa on it. And we've even got letters to Rudolph sometimes. I get letters to Rudolph. Uh, we get letters to particular elves. Uh, we get all sorts of questions about how much does Mrs. Claus weigh. Uh, <laughs> Almost like they want to know the whole history of the family, which is good because that's what this program is all about, is to keep the spirit of Christmas and the spirit of Santa Claus alive. One of the most important things that they need to add with their letter is their address and phone number, right? Yes, um, especially the children that uh, are sending their letters. We need to have an address and or a phone number. It's difficult to answer a letter when you don't know who to send it to. And without that address, we have very little way of tracking. Is there a way that the community can help the Lions Club in the helping Santa give some gifts? Uh, there's a couple ways they can do it. Number one, from ensuring that their kids and grandkids and nieces and nephews write to Santa. But we are also uh, open for any individuals or businesses that would like to donate either new toys or make a monetary donation. Everything helps, and this year we're expecting to uh, answer over 400 letters. I know that the Lions Club is going to be helping Santa and the elves wrap these presents too as well. Yes. Uh, they will have a number of shopping days as the letters come in. They're logged into a spreadsheet. And then a number of the ladies from the Prump Valley Lions Club will go shopping and get as close to, if not the exact item, on the list that the child asked for. And um, the age groups for the letters to Santa? Anybody up to 12 years of age can write to Santa and make a request. And for the kids that are um, older, um, 12 and up? Uh, the older children generally will only get a letter back, but because, again, in the economy we understand that our funding just does not support us to providing anybody above the age of 12. 
And so tell me a little bit about the breakfast this morning. I know that the Lions Club is out here cooking breakfast at Prompt Valley Auto Plaza. Uh, again, it's an opportunity for the kids to come out, uh, have some pancakes and sausage, milk and juice, and just spend a little quality time visiting with Santa. It's a wonderful thing for Prompt Valley Auto Plaza to host this. Uh, this is the second year that we've done it here, and AJ and Sheldon have just gone out of their way to open up their facilities to us, and without their help, uh, this couldn't be done. Wonderful. Thank you so much to you. Thank you so much to Lions Club. Well, and thank you to Channel 41 for all your support over the past years. If it wasn't for our local media helping us to keep going, I don't think this program would have continued as long as it has. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Pahrump. Remember, little kids, you can always send me letters to P.O. Box 133, Pahrump, Nevada, 89048, in care of Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to all.